Right then peeps, just having a little tidy up of my copper. I've got one of these old uh, broken Amazon boxes, fixed it up with a bit of gaffer tape. Just starting to go through my copper supplies. I've got, I'm not sure if you can see this because of the lighting, I've got that entire dustbin to go through. And lots of spillages down the side. So what I'm doing is, I'm going through it all, cutting it all down to size. So it fits in here and I'm going to fill this up and I will let you know how much I get well I'll let you see how much I've got in here in a while when I've finished I'll see you in a bit peeps just a quickie uh, a bit of a garage clearance yesterday if anybody's got a Toyota Space Cruiser I've got four alloys there and I've got another two in the back of the van I need a refurb there's only one centre cap and I've got no nuts. Anybody wants any, uh, contact me. I've got six. I'm looking for sort of a fiver a piece from scrap money rather than have to cut the tyres off to scrap them. That's a lot of hard work. I'd rather they went back on the road, did some of my favour, etc. etc. Usual waffle. So, peeps. Right, that's amazing. Uh, you can have the entire bin that size. Well, if I've learned two things, it's don't use old dustbins, they're four pieces. Secondly, when you pack stuff in properly, it looks a lot less. And thirdly, if you go out and find six alloy wheels, don't stack them on top of a fire extinguisher because it will go off and it will choke you out while you're in your garage. Anyway, that dustbin, four to pieces, it's ended up being a third of one of these. I really don't think I want to fill one of those up fully because I can't pick it up now. Could have been a mistake putting it in there, but at least it's all in. A little bit of paint doesn't matter. I've got a lot of cable to go through. And I've still got some copper plaque to clear up. And then I've got to get onto these set top boxes because they really are getting out of hand. <sighs> oh, and Dan's 34. There's the laptop I come across and looked at it and went, oops, I suppose supposed to have sent that out. That will be out to you sometime this week. I just don't want to pull it out of there because then it'll be like Indiana Jones moment and I'll get chased out of my own garage by a big bundle of shit. If there's something else I've learned is no matter how hard you try and sort your nice and clean stuff out, you always end up with a bit of number two stuck over it. That's a lesson for uh, life there, kids. Watch out as you get accidental number two everywhere. I'll catch you a bit later, peeps.